How's it going? This is Tom from BeyondNerds.com. You might know I do uh, reviews for my home bar. I got a lot of autographed pictures hanging behind me. This autographed poster that uh, a few months ago, Jimmy O'Burrell sent me a movie uh, screener. The Good Sisters, starring his wife April and Debbie Rashawn. He sent me this, so you can see I framed it. Autographed picture with April and Debbie. Little DVD sleeve that he sent. You know, I framed it all. I got this hanging on, you normally can't see it, so I figured I'd show it before I did this, because I reviewed a movie with Debbie Rashona in it today called Color from the Dark. It came out in 2008. It's by a writer-director named Ivan Zukan. I hope I'm uh, pronouncing that right. Anyway, the movie centers around uh, an Italian couple in uh, World War II, 1943, I think it believe, I believe it is, in, uh, in Italy, and... Uh, it's an Italian couple, Debbie Rashawn and Michael Seagal plays uh, her husband. And they live with her sister, who's a mute, um, Risia K, really, really gorgeous actress. Um, they uh, live on a farm in Italy and everything. He's not in the war because his knee's messed up and everything else. A bucket gets dropped in a well. First thing I thought when I saw a well was, saying, here we go, Ringu again. But no, that's not the case here. Very original idea. Without giving too much away, something happens with the well. They start drinking the water. All of a sudden, the vegetables are growing in the garden, get huge really quickly. Kind of reminded me of the tobacco episode of The Simpsons. I don't know if you've seen that. But anyway, strange things start happening. Um, a lot can go wrong in a week. This basically goes over the course of a week. They go day by day. It's kind of a linear narrative like that. Uh, the woman up the road is apparently married to the guy's brother. He's off for war. She's harboring a Jewish woman. The Nazis look for her. She gets killed in the woods. Anyway, strange things start happening here. And uh, there's some demonic possession, satanic possession involved. Suffice to say, the good sisters had Debbie in it. She was really awesome in it. I mean, I've seen her in a hundred movies, and uh, she always plays the badass, kick-ass girl. She's really good in The Good Sisters. I thought she showed a lot of range. This movie, she knocked it out of the fucking park. If they have an Oscar for indie horror movies, she should have got it. I mean, Fangoria Magazine's doing Diary of the Dev, her column she's doing every other magazine. They should declare 2010 Year of the Dev because she's fantastic in this movie. And yes, she does get topless. But anyway, <laughs> really good flick. The effects, are, there's a lot of gore. If you're a fan of gore, there's a lot of gore. The effects are really good. The cast is really solid. Jerry Shanahan plays the guy up the road, which is like the father of... Father-in-law of this book. I, I'm not going to get into the whole thing. but Anyway, really enjoyed this movie. It looks like a million bucks. They obviously, I'm thinking they shot it in Italy. I don't know. I'd like to get an interview with Debbie one time to find out. But uh, the locations are excellent. Everything as far as continuity, I mean, you're not going to see. I didn't find anything that might have been pre-1943 in this movie or post-1943, you know, like uh, power lines or anything like that. And I was looking for it. I mean, I was even looking at the pots and everything when they showed them eating dinner. By the way, there's a dinner scene in this at the dinner table. Right after Debbie stabs her hand with a knife, and she gives a look to her sister in this movie that is the most terrifying thing I've seen in years. I mean, this look is awesome. But yeah, this is, I mean, she's she knocked it out of the park in this movie. Debbie's by far the greatest actress in this movie. And you won't find a bigger champion for independent cinema. But back to the movie. The effects are really good, a lot of good gore. There's a really good scene where she uh, stabs a priest in the eye with a crucifix that I thought was cool. Um, really good story. The movie's a little long, but the pacing never drags. And like I said, it looks like a million bucks. Editing's really smooth. The audio, finally, an independent horror movie that has consistent audio. I love it. Fantastic. You can act. I wasn't playing with my ro remote the whole time, turning the volume up and down. Great, great move. Anyway, definitely check this out. I would say this is probably that one in the top three independent horror movies I've seen this year. I know it came out in 2008. I was a little late to the dance watching it. 
but I'm glad that our illustrious leader, Derek Huey, let me review this because, man, fantastic movie, and now he's going to play hell getting me to send it back down to Texas for him. But anyway, definitely check it out. Great film. If you like the supernatural horror, if you like some good gore, if you like Debbie, definitely check this movie out. I give it an 8.5 out of 10. 8.5 out of 10. Great flick. Don't miss it. Thanks. Support independent horror cinema.